everybody, it's Donna, and just doing a really quick video to tell you that <gasps> Mercury is retrograde! Ah! <laughs> okay, <sighs> Mercury retrograde, of course, is when Mercury in the sky appears to be going backwards, and it makes our entire lives just chaos. Okay, I'm exaggerating. So Mercury naturally rules Gemini and Virgo, and so these two signs are very integral parts of our lives. Uh, Gemini rules communication, so that's why Mercury retrograde tends to disrupt things like our phone calls, getting messages, emails, uh, accidentally hitting reply all when you didn't really want to, uh, or dropping your phone in the toilet, or uh, trying to get a new phone. Maybe you were even thinking you were going to get a new phone, but oh my gosh, the line is out the door. You get the phone, you don't really like it, you don't know how to use it. So that's all Mercury retrograde stuff. Uh, in addition, Gemini rules uh, travel, generally short distance travel, but it can affect long distance travel too. So when you're traveling during Mercury retrograde, of course it can be really difficult because your luggage can go to an entirely different destination than you are, uh, usually Baltimore from my experience. Um, but uh, if you are traveling, if you're traveling to a place that you want to go to, that you've been to before, Mercury retrograde can be okay, but most of the time, because it's disrupting so many other people's lives, because this is a universal aspect, those situations can also interrupt you. So even if you're not experiencing a bad retrograde, everybody around you might be experiencing that when they travel, and therefore you need to give yourself extra time Try to find extra patience and compassion for people because they're going to be really stressed. And then uh, the Gemini also is your thinking process. So, uh, of course, you've heard this already. When we do Mercury retrograde, any word that begins with re, <coughs> excuse me, any word that begins with re is something that we're thinking about. So we want to rethink, uh, reconsider, redo. Any of those words, I mean, the dictionary has thousands of those re-words, but um, any, any of those we're going to be looking at. So this is the point in our lives where we might look at our advertising material and say, I want to redo everything. Uh, in fact, I just woke up this morning, I'm working on a new book, and I was just thinking, I want to redo the entire book. And I went, no, it's Mercury retrograde, just back up. So, so I'm going to try and put it on the back burner for a week and to, until the retrograde passes. So, um, then Mercury also rules Virgo, and so that is our daily routines, our habits, and things that we do for our health, and things we do at work. And so all of that we're looking at rethinking and redoing. So of course I'm looking at redoing my schedule. Uh, I'm looking at some of my health habits. And while my eating habits are really good, my exercise needs to come up a notch. And so, so I'm looking at how I can squeeze that into my schedule right now, or more accurately, make it a priority so that it is top of the list and then the other things can happen. And then also, you know, how are things going with work? You know, is your relationship with your coworkers good? Uh, you know, am I, uh, can I expand my business in some way by doing different things? This is, this is more, uh, Mercury retrograde is more about the individual things we do rather than the big overarching ideas. Now, of course, every Mercury retrograde is in a different sign. That means in your chart, it's going to hit in a different house. Sometimes it will also hit planets, and when it does, you definitely feel it. So some retrogrades you're going to skim right through, and others you're going to just feel like your life is broken and that you're crawling out of the abyss. Yes. But uh, <laughs> that said, all of this has a real benefit to us, and that is when we are looking back at things, when we're tweaking things, when we're going back and correcting things that we missed, you know, like if a driver's license elapses and we need to run to DMV, or if we, if our car 
you know, really needs some maintenance or perhaps we have some, that little beep says I'm supposed to be at a meeting. <laughs> so, uh, or if we need to uh, make changes in our diet or exercise plans, this is the best time to be looking at these things. So anyway, if you're experiencing mercury retrograde right now, anywhere in your life, leave me a comment in the comment section below. My phone is now beeping, telling me I need to be in another meeting. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. I would love to have your comments and, and your questions. And, so, uh, and then we can talk about them in future videos. And that's it. I hope you guys have a great Mercury retrograde, and I'll talk to you soon.